Hey guys, it's Kimberly. I wanted to make a video for you guys on the topic of your why, which is a really big topic. And I talk about this um, with challengers and with my coaches. So I'm going to just talk about finding your why as a challenger, as someone on a journey that has goals, um, health and fitness related. Everyone's goals are different. Everyone's why is different. Everyone's vision of where they want to be is different. So this is very unique to you. And it's not something that really for everyone happens overnight. Like it took me a little while to kind of find my why and um, to even share it. You know, I shared with my coach first and she assured me I should feel comfortable sharing it in the group and I want you guys to do the same because it's a safe place a no judgment zone and we just want to help each other. So um, the, the concept of a why is so important to get to your goal and uh, if you want to pick up a book I highly recommend Simon Sinek Start With Why. Um, you'll you'll learn so much from it in so many other areas of your life. So let me just tell you about my why and then um, we can go from there. So my why starting out, and it's st it has stayed pretty similar the last three years. So my why, as far as why I wanted to make a change with my health and fitness and lose weight, um, had to go deeper than I just want to lose weight or I just want to you know be a size six or a size eight. Um, it, it had to be deeper than that. Like why do you want to be a size six or a size eight, Kimberly? And for me, it, it was pretty selfish reasons. It was for myself. It was, um, and it's not selfish is what I found out, but it was for me. And I felt uncomfortable saying that because it wasn't for anyone else, but I wanted to feel comfortable in my own skin. I wanted to feel confident. I wanted to not be crying in my closet when things don't fit. I wanted to be able to go out into stores and wear the size or pick what I felt good about myself in. And that's why I kept going because I didn't want to have those negative feelings anymore and feel trapped in a body that I didn't belong in. I didn't want to be a poor example to my family. And those are the things that started to develop in my why is this wasn't just for me, but I realized when I was, when I did get healthier, when I did lose weight, when I did um, add fitness to my routine, that everyone benefited. Um, my relationship with my husband got better because I felt more comfortable in my skin, more confident. Um, my relationship with my kids got better because I wasn't as short and irritated and um, just snappy because I was happier. When you're happier, everyone around you benefits. Uh, I became better at my job, at my business. I was able to start coaching because I had that confidence in myself. And so why do I get up and push play? And why do I try to make healthier choices? Is because I want all those relationships to continue to flourish and I want to feel good about myself. So you need to really dig in and ask you yourself what your why is. Why are you doing this? Why? What's going to keep you going from quitting after one bad week or one bad month? I mean, I have plateaus where I gain weight in a month or gain weight for several months. And then what keeps me from quitting? Because I do know if I quit, I'm not going to get to my goal or my destination any quicker. So I just have to reevaluate, I need to refocus, and I really need to dig back into my why. Why is this important to me? And I encourage you guys to do the same. So um, one last analogy, a lot of um, coaches say this, and this is how I learned it, but um, you know, it's your why can often be like, what would you run into a burning building for? If you were to turn down your street and see your house on fire, um, you're not going to run in there to grab your computer or, you know, to grab something superficial or a picture on the wall. Um, you are going to run in there to, you know, save a child or save a family member or save a pet uh, because because you care, you love them so much, and you don't care if you get hurt. You don't care um, what the implications are. You just know that you're going to do it. And it can take a long time to find a why as powerful as that. Uh, but I encourage you to start because your why cannot grow and you cannot become so passionate about it until you start to nail down what it is and to know that 
you're not going to quit when times are hard, when people make fun of you for, you know, not having a drink on a Saturday night because your goals are more important and they're going to, you know, tease you like, oh, just have one cookie or, you know, it's Girl Scout season or whatever it is. It, it's going to happen, but your why are the things that have to push you through the hard times. So, I encourage you guys to dig into that and to share it with um, me, your coach, your group of people, um, and let someone help you stay accountable to it. All right, guys, have a great day.